hello there, my Leo. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I am Coco Hummingbird, and this is going to be um, the Leo love reading for May. It's going to be going a little bit on focusing into the baths of your lover or your partner, though. Okay? So, let's go ahead and get into this energy, see what we can pick up on. Okay, so Leos, your lover or love interest could be feeling like they are ready to kind of, you know, go into something serious with someone or maybe even get rid of some of those options. You'll get to, get rid of some of those distractions, those little um, sideline thotties, like whoever slide into their DMs or the exes and all of that stuff. I feel like they are in the energy of getting rid of that. They're feeling like they don't want that around. They don't want any distractions around the connection. They want to move away from that, but they're not sure if they want to move towards marriage. They're not sure if they want to move towards actually putting a title on it. They're not sure if they want to move towards, you know, actually making the two of you a full item. And let's clarify and see if we can figure out why. Okay, I feel like I should use this one. No, wait. Okay. I feel like this person, um, from the cards that I just saw, they could be worried about, you know, maybe the type of communication you guys have or the arguments. Um, and then also that King of Coins in reverse jumping out, maybe the money or the things that you are willing to offer them, like maybe you aren't able to offer them as much as they would like or aren't able to be the type of lover that they would like to have. Ten of coins in reverse, yeah. They could be wanting like an, a family situation, um, children, you know, happiness and joy, like just pure romance and excitement. And maybe even though they're wanting to like settle down and cut off all the distractions out of their life, and out, especially out of their love life, but I feel like it's also out of their life, Leo. They're, they're wanting to get rid of foolishness okay that's just what i'm feeling like they don't have time for foolishness um they're not sure if you're going to be able to offer the romanticism you're going to be able to offer the stability if you're going to be able to offer children and the family life that they want yeah two of cups in reverse i feel like this person has a lot of doubts a lot of doubts and even though they're still here and they're still offering like you know whatever they can they're still trying to you know be present in the connection or be present while you guys are dating and interacting they don't want to just cut you off because they're having doubts what is going on someone from their past could be on their mind or could be involved in a situation six of cups kept popping out But I feel like they are not acting in a deceitful energy right now. They're just kind of going with the flow. They're not sure if they're they're being as open as they can with their emotions. So I don't feel like they're faking any emotion, but they're just feeling like they're not sure if the transformations that need to take place between the two of you or in the connection can take place. I heard the growth. So if the growth that they, they want to see can happen. Their intentions are, so they're intending to have um, not only relationship growth, that's why I said what I said with this seven of cups in reverse. <clears throat> I think they don't want to just see changes in their love life, but just in their life in general. They don't want distortions or distractions or any type of confusion, BS, none of that in any of their life. I feel like whomever you're dealing with is really trying to, I think, hone in on what they need to hone in on and get rid of whatever is trying to block them or slow them down. Um, with this hierophant right here, I feel like they are intending to have, you know, a strong relationship with you and possibly a marriage. But at the same time, they're feeling like, I guess you guys won't get that far. Ten of Pentacles. This person is intending to really have a, a family with you, a love relationship, really have something real and serious with you. 
especially if you're dealing with an earth sign, most likely Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, because we also have Taurus here. Um, but I feel like if you guys have had a couple of cycles together or like been on and off, um, or, you know, they're not intending to kind of like keep being hot and cold and on and off. Like this person wants to go to long haul. They don't want to have to start over and reset. They don't want to change things in order to make it work. They're like, if it works, it works. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. I feel like their intentions are to be here through thick and thin. They're going to stay until there's nothing to, left to stay for. They want to bring happiness towards you. And they do want to give you your heart. I feel like they want to have adventures with you and explore new things, give you things you've never been given before. Um, they could be a little bit chaotic, though. They could be a little bit um, they intend to stand their ground. They they want to show you their softer side, but they also want to show you like they will make sure that you know that they are not to be played around with. And I do feel like they have the best intentions as far as, um, you know, trying to be honest with you at this time. Remember, this is around the energy for May. So this could be someone new that's coming in, or this could be someone you dealt with previously, or someone you're still dealing with now, someone you're about to meet, et cetera, okay, Leo? And if it doesn't apply, let it fly, you know, sign up for the next one. I'll be trying to be more consistent now, so... Their actions, they are tired of waiting. And that may be why they're feeling like that full one is in reverse. Um, I think this person is probably not going to wait around a lot for you to make up your mind. So maybe some of you are having, you know, those thoughts where it's like, uh, I don't really know exactly what it is that I want to do. I don't know if I want, you know, to have something too serious right now. You know, I'm trying to figure things out. Um, I'm trying to be mature. I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to show, you know, proof of this and that. Hold on. This part. Sorry, the cards kept flying off the table. This person could um, start to hold back a little bit because they feel like um, they don't want to keep waiting around and they're losing hope possibly in you guys being able to get to a 401 type of energy. After them, like, you know, deciding they're going to cut off their options or start turning people down, you know, moving away from that playful player energy um, and really trying to, you know, get you guys to more firm grounding, like going through the turbulent waters with you. Um, I feel like they are kind of losing hope and kind of are going to be taking actions where it's more like they're just there. Yeah, they don't feel confident in the connection right now. So they're going to probably just, you know, act on love, you know, until it wears off. So they're going to still be, you know, probably loving to you and kind, but they're just kind of going to be there more so than hopeful now. Like you have depleted their hope or something about this connection has depleted their hope, I feel like. Let's get some cards. Even if it wasn't you guys, like if you're not already dealing with one another, then it could have been. Um, like past energies, like people they've messed with in the past, um, you could have done some things or said something that reminded them of someone from that past. And, you know, they're kind of feeling like, oh, no, I'm about to deal with this again. And so now, you know, all that hope and excitement that they had, I feel like they still have those intentions to like, you know, stick through this with you and be here. The fool is in reverse. The Ten of Pentacles is upright. The higher front is upright. But when it comes to their actions, they're tired of waiting. They're not going to be waiting around longer. They may be removing some of their passion and they are not going to be seeming as confident in the connection, as hopeful in the connection as they previously were. I don't know what happened, Leo. I don't know what you did, said. I don't know what they did. I don't know what arguments have been taking place, but the relationship is taking a little bit of a hit. appeal there is a strong attraction here chemistry is building so despite all of that i feel like there is still chemistry between the two of you uh, or magnetism you guys still have the ability probably to have a good time um if you do have any sex then it's probably very hot and steamy um it's just things are a little frosted 
I heard right now. <laughs> they're not frozen. They're not cold, but they're a little frosted right now. New, new. A new love, a partner may be on the horizon. So this person can be someone new, of course, but this, this could be a new way of approaching love for them the way that they were approaching it or the way that they're going to be approaching it. And if things don't show hope and promise, um, then this person, you know, may move on. Or someone new could come along, actually, um, and maybe, you know, kind of reignite this person's... Sorry, I dropped the card. Reignite this person's interest or something like that, okay? Or spark a fire under you to change how you were doing things. Something new is coming about in your love life. You may have met the one. All pink cars. That's the first time that happened. So this person could be an actual soulmate for you guys. They could be teaching you how to have more self-love. You could be teaching them that. Um, but it's just like right now, this connection, um, this person is trying to change for you. They are, I feel like, trying to show you that they care. They do have the intention to go the long haul with you if you guys are able to work that out. But they are losing hope in it for some reason. I don't see it going to marriage, even though that, that's what they desire. So maybe something that you've done or some things that have happened between the two of you, Leo, have kind of made this person feel this way. Um, with their actions, I feel like this person is not going to be sitting around waiting for long for changes to happen or for things to transpire, for progress to be shown. Um, they may be changing the way they act towards you, less passionate, less fun and carefree, more serious. Um, they're, they're not feeling as confident. So I feel like that may be why, um, they're probably acting a little more self-conscious, questioning you more, possibly, you know, showing insecurity more, um, they want to reset that. They could be trying to change that now as well. Yeah, and and you know, show you that love, offer you that love again. But um, it's like almost like you. They they say they're not gonna stick around for a long time, but I feel like this person really does have feelings for you. And if you can show them that you know things can be new and loving and attractive and fun, I think that there's some type of soulmate energy around this or. Some type of, you know, destiny type of energy, like where everything in life happened by destiny, but that's for another video. Um, but they 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 really feel like you could have been the one for them at some point, or they are feeling like that now, or they were just feeling that way, or they're going to be feeling that way. Whatever the case, there's some type of, oh, this was supposed to happen, I've met the one type of feeling, okay? Now... Something occurred that made this person feel like, um, I'm not sure. Okay, Leo? So, uh, it takes some work, but I do feel like that person really feels for you. They really have feelings for you. They really want to go the long haul. I feel like they even want children with you, or they see you as a good parent, or they see it possible for them to build a family and a home and a life with you, okay? I'm going to see you guys in the next video. I wish you guys the best. Have a great one. Until the next video, love and air hugs. Bye.